Hi! In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create solar panels in minutes. Let's build this solar panels material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a surface relief filter as starting point. You don't need to use a base material as starting point, especially when doing a lot of channel switching or more complex materials. Let's add our first filter by clicking on the Add a Layer button, typing in Surface and choosing Surface Relief. We switch the noise type to Cell, choose Random as Variant to get height variation and tweak the scale. We also get rid of the AO and Normal information. Now we use a channel switch filter to copy the height onto the base color. We further take a fill filter to fill the height and roughness channels with a uniform color. Then we take the colorize filter, choose a nice darker bluish color and reduce the luminosity for less color variation. To get the thin horizontal stripes we take a pattern filter and change the pattern. Let's style it by 40. Get rid of the blur and override material details for stronger lines. We further override metallic with a value of 1 and normal details with a really small value to have slightly normal map details. For the vertical lines we choose the same pattern but tile it a bit less. We rotate it and get rid of the blur too. Now we also add metallic and normal information. Let's rename the material and save the project frequently. For the lighter border areas we have to make a new material by clicking on the plus button. Let's rename it too. We add a base material by clicking on the add a base material button. Now we choose a white color, reduce the roughness and lower the height level a bit for a small variation. We blend both materials together. To do this we have to make another third new material and rename it. Then we drag and drop in our first solar cell material and as a second one our base material. Adding two materials on top of each other blends them. This way you can combine multiple materials. To tweak the blending behavior we switch to custom mask blend and click on the button behind the material preview. We choose the solar panel mask from the project files. But we could also draw a mask or make one in Illustrator, Photoshop or Designer. To get more normal information from the height channel we use the height to normal filter. Tweak the intensity and increase the button normal information to blend it. Then we use the height to AO filter and adjust the intensity for nice AO information. As final filter we add a smudge stain filter to get more variation into the roughness channel. You can experiment with lot of different details and even use multiple layers. For this example I just tweaked the intensity, the size and increased the handprint density. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use Sentu to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SPS AR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There is a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.